In a significant milestone for agricultural development, a graduation ceremony was held to commemorate the completion of a good agricultural practices training for over 70 participants of Regions 4 and 5. The training held as part of the second phase of the enhancement of the efficiency of the production distribution supply chain in the fruits and vegetable sector project, more commonly known as the Seven Crops Project, highlighted the collaboration of the Taiwan Technical Mission and the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development. Soil management, pest control, irrigation techniques, post-harvest handling and market strategies were among the topics covered in the training program as participants gained valuable insights into efficient production methods and sustainable farming techniques that ensure consumers receive high-quality fruits and vegetables. Ambassador of the Republic of China Taiwan to St. Lucia, His Excellency Peter Chayan Chen, commended the participants for their remarkable achievements and emphasized the importance of the bilateral collaboration between Taiwan and St. Lucia in promoting agricultural development. I would also like to express my appreciation to the Ministry of Agriculture and Taiwan Technical Mission for their hard work on organizing the workshop. Let's give them a big round of applause. The government of Taiwan will continue to work with the government of St. Lucia to promote local purchase, diversify it, and increase the domestic production, which comprise the goals of our project as part of the effort to promote food security. Agriculture Minister Honorable Alfred Prosper stated that the joint initiative between the Taiwan Technical Mission and the Agriculture Ministry plays a critical role in improving agricultural practices in our country. According to Minister Prosper, the knowledge gained through the training program will increase productivity, improve product quality, and ultimately lead to better livelihoods for farmers. This training is in keeping with the new thrust of the ministry. That is the overarching goal of ensuring both food security and nutrition. Therefore, your added collective contributions are essential for improving the food security status of our nation. We rely on our farmers to perform that critical role of wholesome food production. The ministry's mandate in light of current world affairs is of high priority, since several factors such as inflation, the corresponding supply chain disruptions, and escalating prices of inputs all have driven up the cost of food and general living expenses. The completion of the training program marked by an atmosphere of celebration and the presentation of certificates sets the stage for a promising future in agriculture, strengthening the ministry's steadfast dedication to fostering a resilient and sustainable industry of growth and innovation. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.